everyone, uh, welcome to this month's drum lesson. Um, this time we're going to be going over one of the older songs again. Um, it is Maynard's and we're going to be specifically going over the um, the bit after the breakdown where it all kind of kicks in and there's that really kind of chaotic kind of tom, uh, tom part. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking a little bit more about orchestration and how we can use that to again make something that's fairly simple sound really heavy and chaotic here we go okay so this part of the song is based around something called triplets um now a triplet is when you have three notes that are played in the space of one um and they kind of fit in between eighth notes and sixteenth notes um so first I'll show you like quarter notes, eighth notes, and then sixteenth notes, and then where the triplets would fit in. Okay, so quarter notes is just when we count one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Eighth notes would go um, basically twice as many notes in the same amount of time. So um, one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. And 16th notes is twice as many as that in the same amount of time. So I'll show you quarter notes, eighth notes, and then 16th notes. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one E, and a, two E, and a, three E, and a, four E, and a. Now the triplets go in between the eighth notes and the 16th notes. Um, and sound like this so uh, the way we count triplets are one and a two and a three and a four and a so one and a two and a three and a four and a so what i'll do is quarter notes eighth notes triplets and then sixteenth notes okay so we've got one two three four one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one Okay, so this part of the song um, is played with triplets. So, okay, so just like last time when we talked about orchestration, I'm going to do everything on the snare drum to begin with, and then show you how it's moved around the the drum kit to make it sound fat and heavy and awesome. Okay, so it is really really simple. Um, just triplets. Okay, so on the snare drum, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. Okay, now uh, my bass drum is following my right hand. So whatever my right hand does, my bass drum does. Okay, so. Okay, now it sounds a little bit weird, um, and it will do when it's played on the snare drum like that. Um, but it's just so you can get a, a, an easier idea of what's actually happening. I think Westy, when he did this, he used a double bass drum pedal, which means that um, he had two bass drums, if you imagine, um, and his feet were doing the same thing that his hands were doing. Um, I don't use a double bass drum pedal, um, so I've literally just not not used my left foot um it does sound a little bit different um as i'm personally biased myself i think it does sound a little bit better as it gives it a little bit more texture rather than all my limbs playing the exact same thing at the same time um i'll play it up to speed for you um so you can hear what that sounds like Okay, now um, moving it around the kit, it's not really moving around the kit, but um, using that orchestration to kind of change the, the feel and flavor of the, the pattern. Um, again, really quite simple. Um, all I'm doing is instead of playing it on the snare drum, playing it on the toms um, and on every two and four, bringing my left hand down to play the snare drum 
Okay, so one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and. Uh, okay. With the bass drum, follow my right hand. That would go like this. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and. Uh. And now up to speed. And then at the end of that kind of section, um, I do a fill and it is literally just triplet still, keeping that bass drum going and moving around the drum kit. So, um, kind of different every time I do it. Um, but um, the, the overall concept is the same. I'm just going one and a two and a three and a four and a, with a bass drum following my right hand. Okay, so all together, that would sound like this. All right, and that is the drum lesson for this month. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you soon. Bye.